Welcome to Open Heavens Devotional Commentary, a guide to a close fellowship with God with Salami Energy Harina, your host. We are glad to have you today. Hello, good day and thank you for joining us today again. Open Heavens is written by our Father and the Lord, Pastor E. A. Adeboye, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. And this commentary intends to bring insights to God's Word by the help of the Holy Spirit. Today's date is Friday, the 30th day of September 2022, and our topic for today is, He can defend the defenseless. Let us pray. Our Lord and our God, our great protector, our shield, and our defense round about, the one who never sleeps nor slumbers, the one who keeps watch over us day and night, the reason why we are safe, the reason why we have all the peace in the world. Father, we say thank you for being faithful. Thank you for never taking your eyes off us for a moment. If you had not been by our side, our stories would be different. We say receive our thanks in Jesus' name. We are here before you again to seek your face. We ask that Father, you would bring your word to us again. Help us to have a transformational encounter. As you teach us, let us never remain the same again. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. You are welcome back. Our memory verse for today is from the book of Psalm chapter 91 verse 2. Psalm 91 verse 2 reads, I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him will I trust. Psalm 91 verse 2. And our text for today is from the book of John chapter 10 from verse 7 to 14. John chapter 10 verse 7 to 14 reads, Then said Jesus unto them again, Verily, verily, I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. All that ever came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear them. I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved, and shall go in and out and find pasture. The thief cometh not, but for to steal, and to kill and to destroy. But I am come that they might have life, and that they might have it more abundantly. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. But he that is an hireling, and not the shepherd, whose own the sheep are not, seeth the wolf coming, and leaveth the sheep, and fleeth. And the wolf catcheth them, and scattereth the sheep. The hireling fleeth, because he is an hireling, and careth not for the sheep. I am the good shepherd, and know my sheep, and am known of mine. John chapter 10 from verse 7 to 14. God bless the reading of his word to us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Our topic for today once more is, He can defend the defenseless. And in today's devotional, our Father and the Lord says, It is a very frightful thing to be defenseless in a hostile world. When a man is sick, he runs to the doctor for defense. But what do you do if the doctor says there is nothing more we can do for you? If a man is in financial problems, he may run to the bank with the hope of borrowing some money to come out of the mess he is in. But what would he do if the bank says they cannot help him? It is a terrible thing to feel forsaken by relatives and friends. But the worst kind of helplessness comes when the pastor says, I have prayed all the prayers I know and there is nothing more I can do for you. Thank God that at that moment, there is somebody who is called the defense of the defenseless. Psalm 46 verse 1 says, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. No matter how big any trouble is, God is there to defend you. Once in a while, we face opponents that are too big for us to handle on our own. At such times when we feel defenseless, God is always there to defend us so long as we belong to Him. During one of our Holy Ghost services, God told me to tell someone in the congregation that he should not worry, he will laugh last. Apparently, there was a young man in the congregation who had just received a disengagement letter in his workplace. He came from the office straight to that program with the letter crying for God to help him. By Monday, all those who ganged up against him to be sacked were sacked and he was promoted. In John chapter 10 verse 11, he is called the Good Shepherd. John 10 verse 12 says, But he that is an hireling and not the shepherd, whose own the sheep are not, seeth the wolf coming, 
and leaveth the sheep and fleeth. And the wolf catcheth them and scattereth the sheep. The hireling referred to in the Bible reading for today is the devil. If you put yourself under his care, when the troubles of life comes at you as wolves, he will leave you alone. Once you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you will come under the protection of the Good Shepherd and he will defend you whenever an enemy comes against you. God bless his word to us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Once again, our topic for today is He can defend the defenseless. In recent times, we have been studying the mighty things that our God can do and we are truly amazed that there is absolutely nothing impossible for our God. We learned some days ago that He can reverse the irreversible. He says He is the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending. He is the one which is, which was and which is to come, the Almighty. It does not matter what we have lost in the past, there may be opportunities or privileges, He is able to restore, hallelujah. We learned also that He can control the uncontrollable. He tells us that the King's heart is in His hands and just like the rivers of water, He can turn it in whatever direction He desires. To us, this means that with our God by our side, there is absolutely nothing we cannot achieve. No one and no situation can prove stubborn because we have He who is in charge on our side. When we partner with Him, even the greatest of all earthly kings will be subject to whatever He declares concerning us. We learned also that He can cure the incurable. Never have we seen in scripture a time when our Lord Jesus was confronted with a situation and He had no solution to it. Never did we hear of anyone who met him, desirous of healing, who left disappointed. As a matter of fact, he specializes in situations declared and confirmed as incurable. He manifests his glory and might through them, showing that there is absolutely nothing impossible for him to do. Hallelujah! Today we are excited to learn also that our God can defend the defenseless. Hallelujah! In life, so many people have various things in which they put their trust in to be their defense. But woe is any man whom the Lord is not his defense. You may have all the money in the world. You may have the presence of physical security guards, maybe even the best of them. In life, certain situations will teach the lesson that only God can be our sure defense. Psalm 46 verse 1 that our Father in the Lord tells us today says that God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. There is no form of security and defense we can have on earth that would give a 100% guarantee of safety. They can only attempt to help. God is the surest defense. Hallelujah! I like how our Father in the Lord paints for us today the picture of God's love and defense for us. Scripture tells us that He is the Good Shepherd and we are His sheep. It is dangerous for it to walk alone without its shepherd. It is so heartwarming to learn that God offer Himself to be our shepherd. There are so many benefits to have him as your shepherd. A sheep with a shepherd will never go astray. It would never lack. It would not be exposed to danger. As we continue to discuss God as our defense and our shepherd, another scripture that comes to mind is the popular Psalm 23. It says, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In other words, with him, you have all of your needs taken care of. Verse 2 says, He maketh me to lie down in green pastures, he leadeth me beside the still waters. You would always enjoy the abundance of peace and provision. Verse 3 says, He restored my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Then he says, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. And the reason is because thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. As we journey through life, a man would have experiences of the seasons of the valley of the shadow of death. But what will determine if he would be overwhelmed and overcome by these seasons is who his shepherd is. Is he led by an hireling who would forsake him in his moments of greatest need? Or does he have the Lord as his defender and his shepherd? Verse 5 says, Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointed my head with oil, my cup runneth over. It is interesting to note that God would not take your enemies out of the equation. Right in their presence, he would prepare a table for you. He would cause you to flourish and give you testimonies that they would not be able to deny. And then because the Lord is my shepherd and my defender, verse 6 tells me, I don't know about you, that surely 
goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. I want you to say to yourself, the Lord is my shepherd and my defender. Say it one more time, the Lord is my shepherd and my defender. Let's bow our head now and just appreciate the name of the Lord. Say, Father, thank you for being my shepherd. Thank you for being my defender. Say, thank you for being my fortress in which I can always find refuge. Thank you for being my rock of defense. Thank you for being a very present help in trouble. For always being there right at my point of need. You have never failed and you would never fail. Just give him thanks. Exalt his name and say, Father, we are grateful. Now tell him, Father, we submit our lives to you again. We ask that you take charge of all that concerns us. Be our shepherd and our defender in all things in Jesus' name. Take charge and take control. Ask the Lord and say, Father, whatever circumstances of life may be blowing at us today, coming at us as wolves, by your grace and mercy, rise up against them in Jesus' name. Rise up as our defender, guide and protect us as our shepherd. We receive victory over them today in the name of Jesus. Pray also the scripture we just read, Psalm 23, and say, Father, let all the blessings of Psalm 23 be our portion because you are our shepherd in the name of Jesus. We declare that we shall not want. We declare that we lie down in green pastures. We declare that you lead us beside still waters. You restore our soul. And though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we are victorious and we overcome. Goodness and mercy shall also be our portion all the days of our lives. Father, we give you thanks and we bless your name. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Our dear Father, once again we say thank you for being our defender. Thank you for defending defenseless men like us. We ask that you would continue to be our defender now and forever. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. We have a reflection in today's devotional that asks, Are you under the protection of Christ? We are to ask ourselves genuinely, and give a sincere answer. We have in our Bible in one year reading plan for today to read from the book of Amos chapter 5 into the book of Obadiah chapter 1. We want to thank you and appreciate you for joining us today. Also, God bless you. If you'd love to speak to someone or to receive updates like this sent to you daily, please do well to send a WhatsApp or Telegram message to plus 234-80-986-11226. Do well also to like, share, comment and subscribe on our various platforms. Our hymn for today is the hymn 28 of our Open Heavens devotional. We'll be singing When We Walk with the Lord. Have an awesome day ahead. See you tomorrow again by God's grace. God bless you and bye for now. I believe you enjoyed today's devotional. We'd love to hear from you. Kindly leave a comment. You can connect with us on any of our social media handles attached. God bless you. Have a great day and see you tomorrow.